RadioDiary.com and today we're standing in front of the new Zim, N-E-W-S-E-U-M. The new Zim is a multi-million dollar building that was constructed in Washington, D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue and it has everything related to the news inside this place. I mean, you name it, it's in there. But if you go span from left to right, you will see the line that it takes to get in there. And today is free. Tomorrow, it's going to cost you $20. But the radio diary is going to bring you as much as we can of this outside portion. And hopefully, we will get in to the inside. But you see the line is way back there. This is RadioDiary.com and we're standing outside of the museum. And this is the writing on the side of the building. It says, Congress shall have no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise that are for abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people. Peace of Reach is simple and to petition the government for a end Let's weave it. Hmm, that don't make sense to anyone. This is RadioDiary.com. This is RadioDiary.com, and we're standing at the crosswalk of 6th and Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. And right now, I have the photographer for. I think it's NBC. I'm trying to zoom in on his camera to see what type it is. Uh, what is that? Can you read that? What kind of camera is that? A, BE, a beta cam. Okay. That's a nice camera. This is RadioDiary.com. This is RadioDiary.com. And we're standing right in the stream of the traffic. These are all the people who came out to see the new museum. New Zim. And it's a pan to the left. Okay. This is every newspaper in the United States that is on display here at the museum. Okay. So I'm going to leave the camera on. I'm going to walk you up to every newspaper. Okay. Here's the Anchorage Daily News. That's the Anchorage Alaska. Newspaper. I'm going to take you through the traffic. This is where we are at the new Zen in Washington, D.C. Now, if you pan up to my right, you will see how close the new Zen is to the United States Capitol. That's the Capitol Dome. And if I pan out, this is the New Zealand. So when you come to Washington, D.C., be sure and visit the New Zealand. If you've seen it here on RadioDiary.com, if you've seen it here on Washington, Radio, on RadioDiary.com, and now you 
will get a chance to see it for yourself. As I pan to the left, this is the, this is the entrance, or the exit rather, to the museum. And this is the traffic that's coming out. Like not, no, this, this, this traffic is nothing like the traffic trying to get in. Give you a close view. This is the name of the museum. N E W S E U M Museum. And it was crowded down here today. Today is the grand opening. Tomorrow it's going to cost you twenty dollars to get in here. And if you just happen to be lucky enough to come out here today, it's free. And this is what this traffic is about. This is free traffic. And if it's free, you can count on folks coming to the museum. But if it's free, Tomorrow when it turns, when, it, when the price comes back to $20, I guarantee you, it will not be this amount of traffic out here. This is the beginning of April in Washington, D.C. So this is nothing like it's gonna be in July. I can imagine the tourists, when they come to town, this place is gonna rock around the block. This is the museum. And this is the traffic for it. So just sit back and enjoy. You're getting a first-hand view of the traffic. Now this is this is to kill off Brown and Roots. This is Bechtel, Halliburton, who've been given no bid contracts by the Bush administration, by Dick Cheney, the former CEO of Halliburton, and are profiting off the deaths of soldiers and the deaths of innocent Iraqis. Arrest the war criminals! Arrest the war criminals. Arrest the media! Arrest the media. You're being complicit in this war based on lies. No, you come back here. You come back here, George. You're a war criminal. You're going to jail. Go to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred million dollars in no big contract. This is Washington D.C. at its finest. It's the capital of the United States of America, and this is the opening of the museum in Washington D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue. The line is. Unbelievable to get in here. It is unbelievable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pan and just show you the end of the line. And I still don't see the end of it, but that is the end of the line. 